Okay, Nick. Wait, hey everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have Nick with me and I was thinking, I was trying to figure out the last time we were like this on my channel, like sitting awkwardly and talking to each other with the camera. And it was when we lived in our other apartment. Costa Mesa. And I remember that I had filmed a flea market video. Mm -hmm. And then that same day we filmed like a, I don't know if it was like a question and answer. Tag. You were sort of awkward in it. Thanks. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> you need to be more you because people think that you're like shy and stuff and you're definitely not. <laughs> what? He's very outgoing no. and very funny. No. Yes. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so for today's video, Nick is going to walk us through some Trabco updates because I feel like I've been a little bit removed from the Travco for the past couple months. I've been doing other things, but Nick hasn't been doing any other things. <laughs> Just yeah. But he's been working on the Travco a lot, so I thought this would be nice to have you here because I feel like when I do the Travco updates, it's like not as interesting because I'm not doing a lot of the work. We you are. Think? I've done some of the work, but like the the engine work and the tires, I haven't done any of that. Mm. So I wanted you to be here. I'm this here. is a long intro. Okay, so do you should wanna- we, Should we go over the footage? Yeah, so explain kind of like, comfy? <laughs> explain kind of like the timeline of the footage that we're gonna watch and like, just explain. Okay, so the footage, Allie hasn't done a Trapco update in a while because we haven't been working on it like every weekend like we like we were working on it because um we were moving and then my buddy who's been helping us out with all the Travco engine stuff transmission he rebuilt the transmission he rebuilt the engine we had to take down the drive shaft to get that recalibrated i don't know stuff i don't even understand and um and I guess it's been taking a while because it, you can't even find parts for the Dodge Travco. Right. We have to search like a Ford truck, so a you're, 400 you're Ford saying truck. Your friend, can we say his name? Leo. <laughs> but he's been helping us. But yeah. He's busy too because he but, has his own so work and stuff too. Yeah. Leo's been a friend of mine since high school, and he's he's like a gearhead, and I, it's he's always worked on all my cars and stuff and he's just one of those guys who just retains information and he knows everything about cars and he's like let me help you guys out and he's really been helping us out i mean he's awesome he's, he's leo's a great guy and um so it's just been tough just finding little parts we need because even when you go to autozone or any website and you search like dodge trap go it doesn't even nothing pop up comes there's up. <laughs> these nothing are things comes up, that so. like we didn't think about two years was it two years ago no we didn't think about it. We, we were just like, this motorhome looks like a VW bus, but it's bigger. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> okay. But funny. we didn't, I mean, in some ways, I'm glad that we didn't know. Not that like um, ignorance is ever a good thing, but I feel like this has been an adventure for us. And if, yeah, if sure. I had known all of this stuff that was going to go into it, I definitely wouldn't have done it. But I feel like Experiences like this are what make life fun and interesting. So no, I I've, yeah, I've been really enjoying it because I've learned how to rebuild an engine, a transmission. Yeah, I really learned a lot about cars. Yeah, I mean I knew a little bit, but now I really understand like right. what it takes for a car to run and all that stuff. But totally, kind of. Um, <laughs> and then we also like replaced the water heater, the water heater that was in there. Should we just play oh, yeah. the footage the, and we'll just talk long? over the footage? Yeah. Okay, we're just okay. gonna play the footage and we'll talk over it. So Nick put this together. I haven't seen any of this yet. So, get my reaction. So, um, we put a new water heater in. Uh, this is so fun, okay. <laughs> so yeah, we got a new water heater from, um, Camping world. <gasps> Nick, what? Yeah. Plastic bag. Sometimes they just give it to me. You know? we just, just have to pull I'm it. I'm such in work no, mode sometimes. You. I just you're forget. Saying. So the water pump's been leaking, but there's me and my dad we're trying to pull it. I was really stuck in there. So this is the old. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait. <I> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like. The 
Eh, there goes the new one. See, we're playing the new one. Was that move what got the old water heater out there? Yeah, it's my karate kick. That is impressive. Ooh, got it. I think I'm talking to the camera, but the audio's off, so I have no idea what's happening. This is the director's cut commentary. Look at Nick, so handsome. So, um, we also got a water filter that will filter out a lot of, it filters out everything but fluoride because that's a whole different type of filter system, so. It's expensive for us. And, um, so we had to move the car to get it to, my buddy Leo, he opened up a car shop. He has his own mechanic car shop now. And he's like, hey, bring the traffic down here so I can work on it when I'm not working on other cars because you know, we're not paying him and he won't let us pay him because he's a good buddy of mine. People ask you what your hair routine is, you need to make a video about that. <laughs> so, um, this was the whole getting it towed over to Leo's shop. And we found out all the tires were practically dead. How many months ago was this? Oh, when was this? This had to be... This was... Was the traffic there when the, the kids from Michigan were here? Maybe this is August. Wow, this, yeah, so this is a while ago. This is like August. And, um, yeah, we had a, <laughs> the place where it was at, it was on a hill, so since the car couldn't start and we couldn't hook up the tow, I had to roll it down a hill Just. to the tow truck. So that was going to be my <laughs> first time driving it, I guess. We found out there was some stuff with the brakes we needed to fix and stuff like that. But um, Because you were rolling down the hill and couldn't stop. Yeah. Well, no, we were Wait, we're, stop. Wait, what were you slow. feeling in this moment? I was kind you of scared. You looked terrified. <laughs> <laughs> So this is well, you cause, going cause down. The guy, the guy was pushing me from the back to give me like a push start. So this is you going down the driveway, not knowing if the brakes. Yeah, and he told what me was like your plan I could. Well, brakes he didn't... told me I couldn't press on the brakes because of the way the driveway was set up, that we could have get stuck if we didn't have enough speed. So I had to go at full speed. What if the brakes didn't work, Nick? You would pull the handbrake. What if the handbrake didn't work? It would just keep rolling. Until... Oh my god. So. Yeah, so this is me. Safety first, everyone. Should ask. Oh, there you go. See, I'm going down. Boom, boom. Oh. There you go. <laughs> so I'm going down the street right here and just like, yeah, we did it. And then How were you feeling in up. that moment? Uh, happy. But then we found out <laughs> that um, we had to replace one of the tires in the back. Oh my gosh. And then the trap go on a street. The rim size of the trap goes really weird. It's like 17 and a half. So it's really hard to find the same tires that were on the Trafco. I don't think Obviously. they even make them now. So Leo found a good compromise for the Trafco. It's a, it's a basic tire we can find anywhere. So if we ever break down anywhere, we can easily get a tire to replace That's it. Good. So um, did he but, put all those lights on the back? So on the bumper. Yeah, that was for the tow. So um, hey, it's Allie. me. That was when this is when we Leo finally got the engine hooked up and running. So this is Leo doing a test drive. So this was later in the summer. So the gas tank isn't hooked up yet, so he has to just put the gas in manually so we only have so much gas to drive around with. So this is basically, I'm inside the car with Leo. I remember I was there she and was you so scared asked she, me yeah. if I wanted to go in and I said no because I didn't want to go in there. So yeah, this is the first. But maybe we'll just let the audio of the trap go right now so you can hear how loud it, it is. It was so loud, you guys. Because the muffler's not hooked up or anything, so... Of course it's not. Just, Why since would it's it a, be? Since it's a 440, you know, engine, it's really loud. It's like a race car engine, so... It sounds like a race car is driving by from far away, but then you're looking... But then you're like, motorhome. what the heck is that beast? <laughs> There it goes. Good old Trafco driving for the first time since we started working on it. That's with the bad tires on it too, so we didn't know if the tires were gonna burst when we were driving it. Again, safety first is always. I'm gonna making get comments a, about that. Man. Making a turn. It stops. See, we didn't hit the other motorhome right there. Dangerously <laughs> close. Head on with another motorhome. Trafco, 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 Leo, Leo. There it goes. Oh, what a beautiful shot. That is a beautiful shot. This picture now that trap go on a road in the desert and everything like that. Just oh. all of that and just do the Mojave Desert footage that we have. Oh, that's the patch on the top. I'm horrible We're, looking. You won't see it once we sand it down or repaint it, but okay. that's for the water leak at the top. And then I think, believe the next footage coming up is, uh, yes, we changed up the tires, so we have brand new tires. Yay! Now on the trap go. 
Do people comment on it in Leo shop? Have they told you anything? Like, do people say anything um, about it? It's a mixed reaction. You have people that think that it's like the coolest thing ever, the Trapco. Then you have other people like, that's a really old Trapco. <laughs> so <laughs> what is a, that piece of crap? Yeah, <laughs> no, it's not a piece of crap, but. You have different people because some people are into the old classic cards and they think they're really cool and mm. pick them up. And you have other people that just are into the new Okay, what are you showing us here? Um, I'm, I think I'm just talking, but see the audio's not on, so maybe we'll just cut this part out. Okay. Just let me talk. Oh, that's the gas tank. We cleaned it out. We sent it somewhere to go get fully cleaned. There was a lot of crap inside there, like just dirt, whatever, whatever. It was just like random pieces, stuff. That, like pieces, like pieces of ceramic. No, no. Oh, that was in our engine. That was in our engine. So yeah, we bought new tires, and then we stored them inside the trap go. Beautiful as always. And now we're taking them out. Um, it was really hard to get some of the older tires off. A lot of work went into it. Um, it's pretty easy to put the new ones on. We learned how to put on a new tire with the bead and everything, which was cool. Very fortunate. My buddy Leo has all this stuff at his. Do you wear sunglasses indoors all the time when we're not together? Because this isn't something that you do around me. No, don't. Well, <laughs> I like my yellow sunglasses. See, that's us rolling over the cute, first tire. Cute. We put it on, it worked. Thank you, Gladiator Tires. Sponsor us. No, not sponsored. <laughs> Gladiator. Look at those rusty bolts. Beautiful. So, the, yeah. so we really the need tire, to update the wait, brakes. What is that called, the tire? Rim? It looks like it's enamel or something. Like our pod. No. Starting on that. There's the traffic keys. Sorry, that's my phone. So popular. So this is me putting more. Yeah, in I, I just had some fun with editing. I, so, this might even be edited to music. I can't remember. So. These tires are a lot different than just like changing a normal tire on a normal car. Well, it's just a huge and thick tire. Oh, and you put soap around the edge to make sure the air is all tight on the inside. Is that soap? Yeah. Lost Wee. the tire. Right there. <laughs> Pretty cool. Is it? This is like a montage from a movie. A movie. See the bubbles? Oh, oh. Just make sure the air is just sealed. Bring on the tires. The brand new Trapco. Great day at the Trapco today. This might be the end. The end is near. Good day. Oh, when are you eating? Did you wash your hands? No, never <laughs> wash my hands. So, um. Look at that freeze frame. You're so cute. Um, yeah, so the next thing to do is put up the exhaust. Uh, we bought the gas line for the gas tank mm -hmm. that's been fully cleaned and stuff with all the, however they clean it with the chemicals. So really, yeah, it was, it was the shadiest shop ever that we had to get it clean. It was a radiator cleaning shop, but you have to like get it clean completely because the gasoline, you don't want anything else in there. It can really mess up the engine. So um, we got that, the exhaust is going on. And then all after, once those things are on, we just have to change all the brakes. And then Leo just has to finish putting a couple things on the engine, and then it's fully good to go. I am crazy. Except for the inside. Well, no, because we would have to move it back and finish the inside because right. some things fell apart. We have to mm -hmm. rework certain designs, like the closet space. Yeah. And we got to figure out if we want to do that table there or do the couch thing that we we're talking about. So. Yeah. But that's all stuff. What's to great come. about that stuff is that. That's easy. The we just want to make sure bought, the engine's good. Yeah, we're like salvaged pieces anyway, mm -hmm. and they can easily be taken apart and put back together mm -hmm. in different yeah, ways. Yeah, ish. For the most part, yeah. Yeah. Cool, Nick. Well, this is really fun having you here with me. And uh, sorry for people that follow me on my channel. I haven't really been doing videos. I've been really busy. Oh my gosh. Uh, with a lot of other different side projects and stuff. Nick has a YouTube channel, if you guys don't know, and he hasn't been posting very much. No. But. He has a lot of good videos on there. Vlogs. Hawaii, the Hawaii. Thing. Okay, yeah. There's a playlist, I think that might be on my channel too. I don't know how that really works, but um, of all of our, he vlogged every single day when we were in Hawaii and they're really fun. And 
I'm so glad that you did that because I would never have been able to, um, he, so we would like shoot footage and then he would edit it every night. Yeah. And it didn't, like, he edits stuff and it takes him, like, not very long and he's, like, so talented. Well, I also just like to do it too so it's done. Yeah, I don't, I don't totally. Like to well, that's what was so great is it. that, like, every day we, it was just done and now it's, like, we, like, watched that playlist all the time because... Yeah, your grandma loves it more than Yeah, <laughs> seriously. But it's fun because, I mean, it's, it is, it's our trip. Are we going to vlog every day in Michigan? I can probably do that for my channel. Should I do that? I don't know. We have to see. If not, it'll be every other day, or like I did in Hawaii, I'll combine multiple days depending right. on what we do. Or maybe I'll vlog in Michigan. Maybe we can do like one day on my channel, one day on your channel. Mm -hmm. Let anyway. us know in the comments. Now we're well, no, we're gonna be like, oh, we're gonna we're be gonna be <laughs> <laughs> Check out our channels because we'll either be vlogging or we won't be, so. Or follow us on Instagram for pictures. Mm -hmm. Yes, we love pictures. I'll be trying Instagram. to post more drone footage and Next pictures. Next drone man. So. So anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's kind of a different format than other Trapco videos, but I feel like this is so much more fun. I'm so video. glad that you if were here. If you guys here, are still here, that's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> then like this video if you're still here. No. But I'm so glad that you were here with me because I feel like it makes it so much more interesting for people. Well, let's do a follow-up. Ask us any questions you want on the Trapco and we'll do a follow-up video. Be kind, just, guys. Just in case we forgot anything, we'll answer them to the best of our abilities and maybe I'll even be able to get Leo in on a video to answer some of the technical Would he questions. Would you do that? Maybe. We're just going to have to blur out his face. <laughs> no, but that might be okay. something we can yeah, do in the future. So let us know down below in the comments. Yeah. Is that how you do it? Yeah. Okay, go oh, for it. Is that what how you do it? it? Like, you don't know. Okay. Well, anyway, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Make sure you subscribe to our channels and like this video if you liked it. And we'll see you on Thursday. Bye. Bye.